Serious, what do you think is the creepiest, most disturbing unsolved mystery ever? Part 4. Now just relax and enjoy. Also, if you like, please subscribe our channel Thread Tonic. Account 1. Michaela Bali, there's no concrete proof that she was being groomed online. But in my opinion, it makes more sense than she randomly deciding to run away, considering how she acted on the day she disappeared. She was also seen in CCTV calling people on her phone. But police found that it hadn't pinged to any cell towers. Emo, she was probably using an app that allows for voice calls instead. Account 2. A guy called Corey McKeague. After going out drinking with friends, he became separated. There's CCTV of him walking into a dead end which had several large wheelie bins, dumpsters. It's thought he fell asleep in one of the dumpsters and was accidentally lifted into the bin lorry. Despite a huge search of landfill and tracing his mobile, his body has not been found, and he is now presumed dead. Account 3. Chiron Hormone I feel like somebody knows something that will blow the case wide open, but to this day nobody knows where he went or what happened to him. There are some solid theories out there, but it'll always be a mystery until we get an official answer. Account 4. I know it's basic, but Black Dahlia is that one case that gives me the creeps for everyone who doesn't know, which I think the majority knows of this case. Elizabeth Short, aka the Black Dahlia, was found cut in half in Los Angeles, California in 1947. Most of her blood was drained out of her body. The woman who found her body thought she was a mannequin. That's how pale she was. She was cut with surgical precision. No organs harmed. Her face was also cut from mouth to ears, making a permanent creepy smile on her face. No blood on the ground. So the body was definitely moved to the place it was found at after she was found, I think, nine. Ten days after an envelope was sent to the examiner with cut and pasted letters saying something in the lines of, Here is Dahlia's belongings. The envelope contained Elizabeth's security card, birth certificate, photographs, etc. All cleaned with gasoline to remove fingerprints. I think in the March of the same year, the murderer committed suicide leaving a note confessing to the murder and saying stuff like, I have waited for the police to come find me. I'm too much of a coward to come turn myself in. This is the best way out for me. His clothes were found and this note probably had fingerprints on it. Yet no one could identify the killer and the killer is still unidentified to this day. This case always brings me the chills because he has to be a trained professional to make those cuts and he has to be so sick to even think about doing that. He said he killed himself, but can we be even sure no body was found? Account 5. I've watched, listened, read a lot of true crime over the years and one that stands out is from the reboot of Unsolved Mysteries with the man who fell through the roof of the hotel or was thrown rather I remember there was no scientific explanation for how he went through like that. The suicide theory was even debunked. Most creepy cases have some logic somewhere in them. But this one just didn't. That I've heard so far. I don't think there's any new developments, but anyone who's familiar. What do you think happened? Account 6. IDK about creepy, but disturbing, yeah. The Delphi murders of Abigail Williams and Liberty German, two teenage girls hiking on a trail in Delphi, Indiana, walking across a bridge. One of them spots a creepy guy following them on the bridge and even films it. There's audio recording of suspected bridge guy ordering them to go down the hill. They were murdered and found not far from the bridge they were on. That was years ago, and the murder is nowhere closer to being solved. Even with video of the suspect, the bridge guy, there's been new developments in the last year or two where people thought it might be some guy, but he got ruled out. Now it's a father-son suspect situation right now, and people seem to be holding out hope it's them. I personally don't think it is. But in any case, it's been years now. Doesn't look to be solved anytime soon. Very sad situation. Account 7. What happened to the three prisoners that escaped from Alcatraz? Supposedly a letter was provided 30 years or so after to the FBI, yet they vanished without a trace and the only things left were the items they escaped with that washed up. If they were washed out to see the items wouldn't have been on a beach, yet no trace of them. Account 8. As someone from Chicago, I would say the Max Headroom broadcast signal intrusion 
is a pretty creepy mystery because of the video. It's been over 30 years, and we still have no idea who was behind that incredibly bizarre hijack. There was a thread a while ago of someone that thought they had figured it out that seemed very possible. But it was updated and they were ruled out as suspects. I think at this point the mystery will never be solved. Account 9. Crazy how an entire 727 can disappear post 9 Tom at 11 without a trace for 20 years. I once saw this Google Maps mystery of a plane in the middle of the Cambodian jungle that people think was a Boeing jet, and I always thought it was fun to connect these two. Account 10. The missing and murdered indigenous women in Canada. I live in BC and it's chilling to see so many lovely ladies vanish forever or be found later murdered. Account 11. The Ghost Ship of the Mary Celeste. It was an American merchant brigantine discovered adrift and deserted in the Atlantic Ocean. On December 4, 1872, ship's cargo was intact and captains and crew's personal belongings were undisturbed. None of the ten people who had been on board, including Captain Briggs, his wife and their two-year, old daughter were ever seen or heard from again. Account 12. Jack the Ripper. There's a few victims compared to others' cases. However, the way it was done is horrible. It's a mystery unsolved since 1888, and that will never be. When you know that during that times, London smelled, was hidden by a thick fog, everything was dirty and the people all struggled despite the industrial boom. Imagine when you are from the lower class ever, knowing a serial killer is outside and you literally have nothing to protect you. The policemen were useless. It happened quick, and the killer disappeared. It put London in terror. Account 13. My great uncle Jack McGinn disappeared off his shrimp trawler in the Gulf of Mexico in the 1950s. Apparently, when he came back from WW2, he became a real SOB. Family thinks he was either mutinied by his crew or left to rot in a Mexican jail. We will never know. Account 14. The case of the Isdal woman. The dead and burned body of a woman was found in a valley called Isdal near Bergen, Norway in 1970. She also had an unholy amount of sleeping pills in her stomach. Many people can remember seeing her before. She was reportedly really noticeable and showed strange behavior. She was seen talking to strangers in her room, physically attracted different room numbers to the hotel rooms she stayed, and much more weird stuff. All labels in her clothes were cut off, and she owned several passports. She claimed to be Belgian most of the time, she was reportedly heard speaking German. Theories range from her being a luxury prostitute to her being deeply involved in Cold War espionage. Account 15. December 27, 2020. Two truckloads of butter worth over thousands of dollars were stolen in the Canadian city of Toronto. The trucks were recovered empty. Finding a motive for this crime could be somewhat difficult to ascertain. 